Niho, this is Fusoni's restaurant number three. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you some new turns and I'm going to show you four new dishes. Well, it's actually three. You will find out later on why it's just three, not four. The first turn is Lo Bang. Lo Bang is boss or the owner of a place. Lo Bang, you can use it to address the owner of the restaurant and you can also use it to address the owner of a store. For example, like a 99 cent store or a laundry store. Then you can ask Lo Bang, Zi Niu Wai Jian. Zi Niu Wai Jian means how much is this? The second word is Sao. Sao in here it's referring to the chef. Sao is a term you can also use on the street. So for example, the person that cuts the meat for you in a grocery store, then you can say something like Sao, Amoling Ai, Suo Nang Ni Gan. Amoling Ai means can you? Suo, cut, Nang Ni Gan, smaller. So can you cut the meat smaller? Amoling Ai, Suo Nang Ni Gan. The next word we have is Xiu Ya. In here, Xiu Ya literally means miss. Xiu Ya, in here I'm referring to the person that does the packaging as well as the person that handles the cash. So you can think of it as cashier in this sense. Based on my personal experience, Xiu Ya miss does not have any negative connotation. But I have been reading about this term being a negative term in some area. Now, whether that is true or not, I cannot give you an answer. So just for safety purpose, always ask around to make sure that it's a okay term to use. The restaurant I'm talking about is a fast food restaurant. So they might or might not have an area for you to sit in and eat. So usually people just order and come pick up the food and just leave. So in that kind of restaurant, usually the work is divided into two components, the front and the back. So the back is the one that handles the packaging and also does the cooking. They might be different people or might be the same person. And the front is the one that handles the cash, takes the phone order and things like that. So to say front, it's say now, back, pian ha. So for example, if you want to ask someone what that person is doing in the restaurant, or what that person's job is in the restaurant, then you can ask, Nu ga qiang wang sei zo san na ali. Nu, you, ga, at or in the place, qiang wang, restaurant, zo san na ali, doing what? So what do you do in the restaurant? So you can say, Wai sei, I am, sei na song jian ni, sei na, front, song jian, handles the cash. So pretty much the xiu ya in the restaurant, now, if you have the cook in the back of the restaurant, then you can say, Wai say, Ga piang ao, qiao yang ni. Qiao yang means to cook. And there are two more terms you can use to describe cooking, which is qiao wong. Qiao wong is cook rice, literally. But in our culture, it's usually referring to just pretty much cooking, cooking anything. Qiao wong or qia cai, cook vegetable, literally. Again, the same idea just means cooking. So qiao yang, qia wong, qia cai. Pretty much you can use all of them, but I definitely recommend using the first one, Qiao Liang. Okay, now it's my favorite part because I have pictures for this one. As mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you four dishes, but only three of them are new because the first one is Zhen Sou Chicken, which I already taught you how to say in one of the previous videos. But at that time, I didn't have the picture. And this time, I have the picture. Zhen Sou Chicken is either Zhuo Gie or Zhuo Zhong Gie, whichever you prefer to say. Genoso chicken by default is spicy, not the, not spicy, not the. There are times where people don't want spicy genoso chicken, so you will hear the people calling in the order saying things like mole not the, mole don't want not spicy. The it's kind of like the, uh, I'm not quite sure how to explain that term yet. So we'll, we'll cover that later when I know how to describe that properly. So now just remember molina and molina ge. They mean the same thing, means not spicy or don't want it to be spicy. And the next one we have is Xiong Liu Bak, which is one of my favorites. I pretty much like everything on the menu, but that is one of my favorite because I like seafood, I like shims. So anyways, Xiong Liu Bak, remember how to say Bak? Ga Lang. And Shim is Ha. So we say Ga Lang Ha. The next two dishes are bonus spirits and spirits. So bonus spirits is mo gao. Mo gao means bonus. Be means rib. So mo gao be bonus spirits.
So for bonus spirits, it's Moko Be. And the logical thing to think of for spirit waves will be Be, right? Because we take away the bonus part, it should be the spirit waves. But nope, to say spirit waves, we say Be Ao Mui. As a reason why it's that, I'm actually not sure. So anyways, bonus spirit waves, Moko Be. Spirit waves, Be Ao Mui. When I work in the restaurant, whenever someone ordered spare ribs, I always had to ask whether it's with the bone or without the bone. I don't know why, but for some people, spare ribs just mean bonus, and then for others, it's not. So, yeah. Alright, so that is all for this lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, remember to leave in the comment section below. Here are two of the videos. I think it's on this side or maybe on that side. <laughs> the, some of the videos that you might be interested in watching if you haven't seen them already. I'm also on different social media platforms where I post additional learning materials. That's it for this video. Bye!